So the VET report stands for our Veterinary Emerging Topics Report. And the subtitle is Pet Obesity. Let's talk about the problem before it gets any bigger. Probably the biggest thing is when we, you know, previously have looked at this, because as you said, this is not our first time um, investigating this topic. We had previously said that about 30, 33% of dogs were overweight or, or had obesity. And this year, because of the additional work that we did, we found that the number actually jumped up to 51%. So more than half of, of dogs were seen to be overweight or have obesity. And I think when you kind of level set that with veterinarians, they're like, hey, this seems like a big jump. Is this real or not? Nobody was surprised at that, which is probably both a little bit sad and a little bit telling. We also found that the percentage of dogs that were successful in losing weight and then keeping that weight off is really quite small, which also kind of emphasizes to us that we still have some work to do. The reason why we kind of continue to look at this is, quite frankly, we haven't fixed it. We still have a lot of work to do. When we think about kind of what the impacts are on pets being overweight and pets having obesity, we know that that has a lot of impacts on things like lifespan and on things like cardiovascular health and mobility. And so we really felt that it was worthy of kind of continued investigation and look because we still have a lot of work to do. Some of the big things that we found were around, one, it's super important and really quite hard to get a complete kind of nutritional assessment of patients when they come in. So kind of from start to finish throughout the day, what, what are all the things that pets eat, you know, as it relates to just their regular food, but also treats, you know, also, also other things that might be used for training or behavior, those sorts of things. So really getting that complete diet history is super important. There's really an aspect of kind of the entire team involvement in this. So from the receptionist when people first walk through the door, all the way, you know, through to the veterinarian, uh, everyone needs to kind of, you know, be preaching the same message and having those same conversations with clients that can be pretty nuanced, but that's, that's incredibly important. And I think the third thing also is that, you know, this isn't a one-size-fits-all issue, right? These are individual pets with individual owners and individual families and lifestyles and environments. And so there really has to be kind of an individual targeted plan for each pet really to try and be successful. To anyone who wants to download the report and read it and dig into that, we have it free online. It's at fanfield.com slash exchange.